McGrogan and Jeff Burns, Sunday will be a sad day even if the Brethren win the match. The trio have formed a formidable partnership ever since they first played together in the under-15s. A decade is a long time for any three players to stick together. During their junior days, the trio won three of the four grand finals they played in for the Brethren, so all goes well for a premiership on Sunday. Bailey's future is secure. He'll play for St George in the Sydney competition next year, while Grogan and Burns are yet to sign contracts with new clubs. Not only will the stands be full of supporters on Sunday, but also club scouts from most of the Sydney teams. At 25 years of age, Burns is looking to set the Lang Park ground on fire, but says playing for a contract won't enter his mind on Sunday. You think about doing well just to win that game, not to not looking forward to a contract or anything. You just want to, or everybody in the side just wants to win the grand final as it is at present. Many of the brothers' first grade players have already signed lucrative contracts for next season, but Burns is not jealous, just sad that the grand final will split up a lot of good mates. A lot of the players I've come up through the grades with, uh, Bales and Groves and, and uh, Shane McElane, um, they're all sort of parting ways uh, at the end of this year. So in that respect too, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a big game. Burns, a veteran of 99 games for brothers, is not known for scoring tries, rather for setting them up for his mates in the back line, a job no one does any better than Jeff Burns. I know for a 